Liquid and Wells is a line in the sand for public access to private beach areas. An historical mistake happened in this spot 30 years ago. And today we filed a lawsuit to correct that mistake. Attorney Benjamin Ford, on behalf of more than 20 main property or business owners, filed a lawsuit to take back main private beaches for public access. The sand that we're currently standing on, this is public, public sand. If we walk uh, 50 feet in that direction, we'll all be trespassing. In 1989, the Maine Supreme Court in the case of Bell versus the town of Wells over Moody Beach stated people do not have the right to recreate on the intertidal area between the high water and low water mark. In the initial filing, homeowners say they were concerned about the public's use of the beach and asked the court to prohibit the public from walking, swimming, sunbathing, or using the beach, both the dry sand and that intertidal zone for recreation purposes. The court found that the only rights the public has are fishing, fouling, and navigation in that intertidal zone. This lawsuit names 10 people and businesses chosen according to Ford for this reason. The defendants have all taken very active positions in blocking people's access uh, to the intertidal. It also lists the Maine Attorney General as the group claims the state owns all of the intertidal land throughout the state. Those shorelines are a livelihood for Bonnie Toby, who works in seaweed harvesting based out of Brunswick. It's been scary for anybody trying to make a living from harvesting seaweed and, and some of the other things. Another plaintiff is William Connerney, who spent his summers as a child at Moody Beach. He now owns nearby property and shared an incident in 2014 when he was kicked off of the beach by a beachfront property owner. Someday, my son and maybe his family will be able to experience the Moody Beach of my youth. When the whole community came together to relax and enjoy as one. And the defendants in this case are a combination of LLCs as well as some individual folks that are listed. I did reach out to some of them to see what their thoughts were on this. We have not gotten a response as of yet, but if we do, we'll of course update you as well as updating our story here on air and online. For WMTW News 8, I'm Mary-Kate Mannion. Back to you.